and listen one other thing where they bore most we say people are very choosy these days people are very selective they are very picky when it comes to recruiting people they specify the kind of people they really need and the kind of people they want to employ this is a typical example of it now look look um we are looking for a general helper you look at this they said job vacancy uh transit i i hope you can see all the information and here the state nationality only indian nepal bangladesh um people need it so the rate of employment here is on the drop like especially if you are here without a skill and you want to come and do these menial jobs the rate of employment is very low so do not be lied to told by people that you're you are, you are coming to do a job that you are going to claim like seven thousand ghana cities eight thousand ghana cities bro i'm up for It's another brand new day and you know as usual we are heading to work i just have a little something i would like to share with you all here which i guess if you all listen to it might help you a lot i know times are hard i know um, things are not moving as smoothly as we all wanted to because um the cost of living in our own countries in our own continent or on our own continent is on the rise and lots of things are really not working out the way we want it to work out for us it is very understandable if the youth or anybody wants to move out of the country or move out of the continent it is understandable that the youth want to move out and seek greener pastures yes it is understandable it is understandable if you decide to move out of where you are at the moment to go to an Arab country to see greener pastures. It is understandable. We are not saying do not travel. But the point is, I am here to sound caution to everybody or anyone who intends to go see greener pastures outside of their own continent or out of, out of their own country. I can't reach my Volvo, so let me just <laughs> unlock my Volvo and then start traveling. You know, it is a good thing to travel outside of the country. Yes, of course, you get to, you know, um, get you get exposed to lots of experiences. You get to have lots of experiences you've never had in your life. Of course, it is okay to travel. It is okay to move out of your comfort zone. Yeah, for exploration purpose, it is good. It is okay. But do not move out of desperation. Do not move out of frustration or do not let anybody... Um, pressure you like make you know make anybody pressure you say Charlie people they travel so make you also travel no don't ever do that because at the end of the day it is your life it is your own life and you would be blamed if you don't succeed in what you want to go out there to do and mind you there are lots of people who have traveled outside of Africa there are lots of people who have traveled outside of their comfort zones there are a lot of people who went on the journey to see greener pastures there are lots of people who came here and went back home with nothing don't ever think that the moment you leave your home country or the moment you leave ghana the moment you leave africa the moment you leave india the moment you leave your home country it is world no sometimes it takes a whole lot of adventure it takes a whole lot of you know perseverance to make it when you move out of your comfort zone and mind you where did you even get that amount of money to you know you know book a ticket where did you get that amount of money to get yourself a visa where did you get that head start where did you get that amount of money to invest into traveling if you stay consistent to whatever you are doing back home and decide to you know put in some more work don't you think you can make it back home okay why am i talking too much today sorry for the sound you know daybreak again and everybody has started working so definitely you will hear some sounds sometimes we might think we are trying to impress people but trust me the same people we try to impress in life are the same people who mock us when we don't make it in life yes don't ever pressure yourself trying to please people don't ever pressure yourself trying to impress people because you want them to know that yeah Charlie me too I make up no the moment you fail they are the same people who are going to mock you 
they are the same people who are going to laugh at you they are the same people who are going to throw shit at you you understand so do not ever try to impress people it is it is not worth it okay there is one guy who sent me a message and wanted me to go track his money for him all i can tell everybody out here is i am not here to pursue people who have taken away your money but to sound caution to everybody out there so that you can dig like you can you can you can stay alert and not to fall prey to these people the moment your money is taken me i can't do anything about it and law enforcers are here to do that job i am not the one who does that job like go chasing your money for you so if you call me out of the yeah, like out of the blues and then tell me you've given money you've deposited money to someone and you want me to go and take that money for you i would say i would, I would just tell you i am sorry because I can't do that I can't do that you know we are here to work I am always at work I am working around the clock even if I am not working I am supposed to work on videos to educate the people out there and I have I have very limited time so if you tell me I should go and then run after your five hundred dollars see the amount of money I'm going to spend in or on transportation alone is going to exhaust that money that you think you've, you've you've invested in you know traveling to this place and if you are someone sometimes i just don't want to reply to certain messages because i tell you guys here every day to stay alert do not pay any amount to anybody you do not know and you know the problem with this guy he thought this this person was an indian and once he is he is light-skinned his color is a little different from um, his own and he is not an african he is not a black man that means he is good to pay money to that person but trust me there are even british who are here who are scamming people let me let me, let me tell you one thing our system our weather here our climate here is about to change it's about no this this is uh, ethiopia yeah i i don't eat this one <laughs> yeah it's it's summer once again the climate is going to change it's going to be very hot here okay so and 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 the rate of employment here is at the drop especially when you are coming without a skill yeah so i got my i gave you bread there's my friend over here yeah what's up yeah. <laughs> yes so the rate of employment here is on the drop like especially if you are here without a skill and you want to come and do these menial jobs the rate of employment is very low so do not be lied to told by people that you're you are, you are coming to do a job that you are going to claim like seven thousand ghana cities eight thousand ghana cities bro they are lying to you so just dig it okay okay you know okay see it is funny the way they lie to you i try to come here decode to you tell you the truth and you still do not believe there are bad people here who are still duping people like scamming people taking their hard-earned money i'm here to send money like there's one kiosk here that you can either buy um, credit transfer or you know top up your credit or send money back home send money back onto your phone pay your you know google app and stuff you understand this kiosk is very very you know um it is very beneficial i wish i could send one back to ghana think about the amount of money they are taking from you they don't really care <laughs> they don't really care how you get that money and i know say ghana hard i know say ghana hard and it's very difficult to make to come across money these days so giving money to people you don't even know is very very you know dicey it is very dangerous you might lose that money every penny of it and then you might end up not even getting the kind of job they are promising you okay so our advice is stay focused you see you just be careful and these days it's not easy to get jobs here and listen one other thing where they bore most we say people are very choosy these days people are very selective they are very picky when it comes to recruiting people they specify the kind of people they really need and the kind of people they want to employ this is a typical example of it now look look um we are looking for a general helper with the details below nationality bangladesh india pakistani or nepali age 20 35 uh, 20 to 35 you understand so you can contact the, the 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 number below in case you are from these countries or you are these nationalities okay this is a typical example i'll show you another way one on my way here 
tell you that it is not that easy. People are very picky these days and Africans are less or least employed here. You look at this, they said job vacancy. Uh, Transtech, I, I hope you can see all the information. And here the state's nationality. Only Indian, Nepal, Bangladesh, um, people need it, like fabric. They need fabricators, welders, general helper, and work. You see, there are lots of things. You can send your CV here in case you are qualified, in case you are any of these nationalities. Well, I don't know for Africans if you can try. I understand. And there is this one. This is the previous one we saw. Okay, this is the previous one we saw. So that's, that is it. Um, in case you are, you are also qualified to be a line inspector, you can try this one. Line inspector, li uh, line supervisor, sorry. Line supervisor, they urgently need this. You can also try this one. This, they stated no, um, you know, nationality so you can try this one okay so like i always say people are being picky these days about the kind of nationality they employ here so you know they say we, we won't lie you or you know they say we won't we won't we know we know won't make you come here but the point is times are hard these days so when you're coming if anybody tells you there is job there are jobs and they are trying to impress you they are trying to uh, you, you know con you into coming here just ask questions ask questions and be careful as to where you intend to go you understand ah uh, good where you intend to go um this is the little i have for you this morning i just don't want to talk too much this is the second time i am recording this video actually because uh, my battery ran out when i was trying to record the first one so thank you so much for sticking and staying with us if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel do well to hit on that subscribe button and be a part of this family if you haven't been a part of it already if you are a returning sub subscriber i thank you so much for the love and support thank you so much for every effort you are putting into making this channel the true channel until we meet again stay safe and stay out of trouble see you on the next one